evil lacks substantiality. Traditionally, Great faith was placed in the devil, in Satan, in evil spirits, as if they were entities that had power and authority of themselves. And while I'm going to guess that not too many people here this morning have a great faith in a Satan with a forked tail, nonetheless those attitudes can carry over to people and events in the world in which we live. What I want to assert here this morning is that evil has no power of itself. So what appears as evil in our life and looks evil to us, it has no power of itself. It's all borrowed, stolen if you will. The only power there is, is the power that runs the whole universe. There is no other power. There's the power that's in your atoms, that's on the sun and in stars. There's the power that enters your heart and inspires your mind. Whatever that power is, that's the only power there is. And it's universal love. There is no other power. There is no evil power. Evil power is all just stolen power. So evil has no power of itself. It also has no being of itself. In that sense, it's nothing. It's nobody. It's vacuous. A person who is perpetrating evil acts is not being a somebody. There is nobody there to the extent that they're doing evil. There's no evil entity. It's something like a zombie. It's a... It's human flesh and human mind and heart walking around as if it was a somebody, but actually, in some sense, it's vacuous. There is nobody there. There is no devil. There is no Satan. Do you have as much passion or more for the people in your life that you love, uphold, support, and co-create with as you do the people that you don't like, that you're afraid of, that you believe are evil. There's a way that passion about evil breeds more evil, if you hadn't noticed. <clears throat> it also does something else. The, the old phrase is, if you have a finger pointing at somebody else, you have three fingers pointing back, back at you. So when we are seeing evil in others and then becoming uh, obsessed with it, there's a way we take our eyes off our own state, our own experience. And then we justify something less than wholesome on our part because we've got our eyes fixated on this evil person or evil thing, and then we excuse something less than the love that we are in expression based on this evil person. I'm not worshiping the failures. How about you? I'm worshiping the potentiality that's present right here and now for me and for us to do something great. I'm centered in that. So when we get to a remedy, isn't that the remedy? To be a being of love in a world that's laced with hate, you have to be consciously, personally centered in that love. You have to be relating to it. You have to be drinking from that source. You have to be focused in it, giving your response to it, worshiping, worshiping it, venerating it in the, in the invisible, within yourself, within all things, and within all people. 